Hello, my name is Harry Wilcox from the Semper Group uh, and today we're going to be doing a demonstration of measuring the burr heights on a drilled hole. Um, so traditional methods currently look at a profile of a line output to find the, um, the burr height. The issue with that or the issue that some customers are seeing is that the burr height can change as you go around the diameter. So it's important that we depict the highest point on the burr um, to understand whether the tool's wearing or if there's going to be any issues within the assembly process. Uh, so there's a method that we can use on the gel site system to be able to depict this. So I'm going to go to the system now and take a scan. So pressing the black button on the top of the system, I can take a scan of the surface. So now that the data has been generated, this typically takes around 30 seconds, I can go into the, uh, the burr height scan and analyze the surface. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the scratch function and create the geometries to fit around the hole. The inside ring is looking at the, the scratch itself, uh, so the area of where the defect or high points and low points are, and the external is looking um, and creating the surface normal, so effectively going to be my zero position. Obviously this zero position that we're using is going to be slightly wrong for the low point because it is going to incorporate some area that I've not touched the, uh, an actual physical part. But it doesn't matter because all I'm trying to do is determine where the position of the highest point is, which is fundamentally what we need. So after generating, this took about 15 seconds on this scan. Um, we can see that we've got a low point in the, the centre of the, or over the area of the gel where there's no contact. And then we've got a high point here. So the aim of now what I'm going to do is to go and take an offset over the area where I know the highest point is. Using the levelling function, I can level the surface or the, the profile that I've got and I can now go and take the highest point or the maximum point over this, this burr. Using the bottom, I can go and find the average over where I've levelled and this will then give me the output of the step height in the top right corner. To output this, I can click the PDF function and this will automatically generate a PDF outputting both the highest point from our previous scan as well as the actual profile of the burr itself. So there's one new uh, benefit to the gel site system um, that's been released in 2.4 and I can now automate the first step in that process. So if I was to go down to scan in the bottom left hand corner I can click run routine and I've got the scratch function. So you can see automatically the uh, the bounds for the, um, the scratch have been defined. So if I was to take the other side of this burr, I can now line the, the hole up to the circle and I can create that first step autonomously. So after the data has been generated, we can see that we've got this green box around the scan. Um, this is to demonstrate that the, the, the scan routine has been completed. So now if I was to click in and analyze, we can see that the high point is down in this uh, sort of six o'clock area. So if I was to now create my offset through this, this section, I can run through the same routine of leveling and obtaining the maximum point as we did previously. But this is to show that we found the highest point uh, or the highest worst case of the burr on this, um, this hole. And same again, we could go and report to have a traceable, accurate uh, measurement of the maximum burr height. So thank you very much for watching. Um, this is just one sort of use case or example of um, an application that the gel site can be used for. Um, there's hundreds of different applications that the system's used for in industry. So if you've got any queries or any questions on what it's capable of, then please get in touch.